good morning today we're here at Kroger we're gonna check some of the last-minute Easter sales see what they got available check the shelves and some of the things you guys have asked about let's get to it so the first thing we would like to do is say happy Easter <laughs> and you can tell it's getting close to springtime because they have all the popsicles out they are up from last year they were $2.99 now they're $3.49 uh, it's good to see stuff like this, though, let you know that summer's right around the corner. Also, right here up front, they have a few good sales going on. They got Grippo's Potato Chips. They're the single bags, but they're a dollar. If you've never had Grippo's before, it's kind of a, it's a Cincinnati-owned chip. They have been spreading out across the country, but they are great barbecue potato chips. Also, they have the Takis here, $2.99. That is... The regular price for now but I have a feeling since these are saying low prices they're gonna be going up we've also had some people comment about these prime drinks I've never tried it let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried these prime drinks I always have to check these to make sure it's not doesn't have coconut up oh, yep it's got coconut water I am allergic to coconut so I cannot have that if you're looking for that movie butter popcorn for your movies coming out on your streaming this buttery explosion, Cousin Willie's, is pretty awesome. I'm trying to stay away from some of this stuff. <laughs> but it's on sale for a dollar a box. Can't beat that. Regularly, $1.99. So still not too bad compared to the competitors. They do have the movie butter and the buttery explosion. I think this one's better. Didn't want to point out until Tuesday, they do have the 9 to 12 ounce bags or K cups, 6 to 10 count of the Pike's Pl or, uh, Starbucks, Pike's Place included. All the Starbucks with your card, $6.99. After this sale, it's going to be going up to $8.99. Because we had so many comments on the Quaker Oats Old Fashioned Oats, wanted to point out that it is still on sale, uh, $4.29. But I, you know, if you like this, I recommend getting it as soon as possible. Today is the day before Easter. You guys will be seeing this on Easter Sunday. So uh, you'll have until Tuesday, April 19th, to be able to get that sale. Also, everything that we see in here today, uh, part of mine and Jessica's purpose of doing this video is so that you get the last minute sales because I have a bad feeling that after Tuesday, things are gonna start going up again. Uh, we're noticing a lot of sales this week, so get it before it's gone. Uh, visit your local Kroger or locally owned Kroger like Supers or some of the other places that Kroger owns before Tuesday or by Tuesday night so that you can get some of the sales that's going on. Let's let's take advantage while the opportunity is here. I look at these cereal prices and I'll tell you what, it just screams, go to Aldi or Sam's Club or anywhere else for that matter because it seems like Kroger seems to be the highest price on cereal everywhere around here anyway. Does it look like Kroger's is going to try to keep Cheerios and a lot of the General Mills uh, mega size, giant size boxes of cereal down to $5.49, which is still ridiculous. Um, and this, it looks like they're going to try to keep that till May 30th. So good to see that they're at least keeping that down some because the regular price here is $6.49, which is just nuts. We have gotten more comments around the country about the Nature Valley. And how they've been going up in price again. They are back up to three twenty nine. dollars uh, They were on sale there for a while. They did have some digital deals on them. Because of the high prices of cereal, we are seeing Kroger get in a lot more of the bagged cereals. Some of the off-brands. To make it a little cheaper, not much. But this is a two-pound bag. 32 ounces of Lucky Charms for five ninety nine. dollars So that's not too bad of a deal. Uh, much better than we're going to get in the box. Less advertising means less money. So I pretty much quit buying Pringles, and it looks like everybody else has too. Uh, this is like the third or fourth time I've been to Kroger in the last couple weeks that it's been completely full. They're not selling them. So maybe if people quit buying them, who's going to pay $1.89 for a can of Pringles? That's ridiculous. Maybe if we quit buying them, maybe they'll go down again. Who knows? Nobody here seems to know when to buy six or more say 50 cents per item is going to end um, I believe it ends Tuesday 
but nobody's been able to tell me that so I'm just letting you guys know so that if this sale is going on where you are not that great of a sale only selling 50 cents but you know what every little bit counts um, after six items you know it is savings of three dollars but I do feel like a lot of this stuff they've raised the prices up just for this sale I mean eh, probably not but it sure seems that way because to I mean this is 399 right now normally I guess the sale item without card is 449 which we saw was up from 429 but look at the regular price here 499 who would pay 499 for this not me I'll just I'll buy the off-brand I'll buy the Aldi or I'll get something cheaper but I do urge you to check to make sure if a lot of these things that we're showing today is something that you want like Triscuits Ritz uh, Lipton tea, Kroger apple juice, Snapple. You know, are these if these are some of the things that you want, then I highly recommend visiting Kroger before Tuesday night, April 19th, so that you can pick up some good deals. Because like I said before, I believe a lot more stuff's going up this week after the holiday. One thing I wanted to point out, because I noticed they're starting to look a lot better here. Uh, they were looking bad for a while. The Gala apples here, $1.59 a pound. And, you know, I always like buying the single apples instead of like the three pound bags sometimes it's cheaper but you can pick through and find the best ones that's why i like to do it also the fuji apples dollar 59 a pound and they do have the pink lady and jazz apples dollar 99 a pound i gotta say these look great too you can check on the kroger app of what digital deals that they have throughout the week and because it's hard for a lot of the employees to get these signs out on time, um, you know, that might be something that you want to do so that you can quickly glance over all the digital deals that Kroger's has for the week. Because we have found a lot and have heard down in the comments a lot of digital deals that we come across or that, we, that weren't there. Uh, they didn't have the, the sign on it, but we were still able to get it because we looked it up on the app. And uh, it's just the way to go today. Simple Truth pecans and walnuts, six ninety seven with the digital deal. They do have the Simple Truth roasted cashews on sale this week, three dollars and fifty cents. That is down from three ninety nine. Uh, these are really good. Uh, I remember when they were two ninety nine not that long ago. So they do have their russet potatoes on sale this week, uh, two for five dollars. We've been seeing potatoes go up and up in price pretty much everywhere we go. Aldi uh, was the cheapest that we found, but still a little high. Uh, two for five dollars here is about the best deal we're ever going to get, I think. Um, and these will be three nineteen for five pounds after the sale on Tuesday. For it being the day before Easter here, the produce looks pretty fantastic. And we're going to check and see some of the other sales on canned goods and stuff like that. But I just wanted to point out some of these organic options. We've gotten a lot of comments. Some people were wanting to see some more organic options. I won't go over all the prices. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit more expensive like the peppers here. We have pointed out that the peppers, the regular peppers, look better than these. I don't I don't know why a lot of these are, are wilted and stuff, but $1.99 a piece is pretty expensive. And these are the regular peppers. Um, they are on sale this week, $1.25 a piece, which, I don't know, to me that's still kind of high, but they do have them. And I gotta say, again, they look better than the organic ones. Also, asparagus is still on sale until Tuesday the 19th. $1.47 a pound. I gotta say, these look pretty good. Um, definitely worth $1.47 a pound because we've been seeing these $2.99 a pound and as high as $3.49 a pound lately. So, definitely worth buying up a couple, couple things of them here. So we do see here that Kroger bread has gone up to $1.49. This is up from $1.29 just a couple weeks ago when we checked. Uh, this is this is crazy. 20 cent raise in two weeks. That is all of the Kroger breads, so though. They do have the honey wheat. This is really good bread. Um, $1.49, still a low price compared to a lot of other brands, but I don't know. It's it's too much. It used to be a dollar. It was it was a dollar a loaf, like about a year ago it was a dollar a loaf about a year ago and then it did go up to a dollar 19 about six months ago now we're seeing it 
at a dollar forty nine over a year's time it's gone up 50 cents i know that don't sound a lot but you, you start adding up all this stuff that's going up in price it really shows up on your receipt last chance to get the gold pineapples uh, and i gotta say these pineapples have looked pretty fantastic lately um 87 cents 87 cents no digital deal come in here and get one for 87 cents great deal here again the avocados are a dollar twenty-five a piece now. They make it out like it's a sale. These, when these would go on sale, they were a dollar a piece, sometimes less. I remember when they were eighty-eight cents a piece. Now they make it like a sale for a dollar twenty-five. So who knows what it's going up to next? That's pretty expensive. One bright side is we see that the hot house tomatoes did go down ten cents. These were a dollar ninety-nine a pound about a week ago. They changed the price on these dollar eighty-nine. Not much of a break, but at least it's gone in the right direction. Good to see that they finally got the sale sign for the corn on the cob here. Five for two dollars. Um, they had plenty of this the other day, but it, it didn't have the right sale price on here. It was a lot higher, and I knew what the sale was, but, you know, they didn't get the sign out here. I'm sure they, you know, it probably hurt them. Probably hurt them in sales because people aren't going to pay a dollar for an ear of corn. One thing I never understood is... The corn, I mean, I understand it's a little more work for them, so they're going to charge more, but $4? Like, you could get five years of corn for $2, just rip the husk off, and you're good to go. I mean, you're saving a bunch of money, and I wanted to point out, too, this is up from $2.99. These used to be $2.99. They've gone up a dollar. That's crazy. They do still have their Campbell's Cream of Soups, condensed soups, $0.99 cents with the buy six or more deal. Uh, say 50 cents each so these would be a dollar 50 without this sale so that's probably what they're going to be after tuesday um and you may be able to find a better deal than this somewhere but this is what progress has going on if that's the only store you got around buy them up because they're going back up here in just a couple days so i was looking at the tuna here and you know the cheapest starkest that was always a dollar a can is now a dollar 19 but somebody had mentioned this cheaper Kroger option. Uh, the Chunk Light Tuna Kroger Kroger Edition. 79 cents a can. So that's a pretty good deal. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried the Kroger brand here. Let me know how it tastes because that's that's what's important. Like it, it could be free and if it tastes terrible, I don't want it. This sale does include Maxwell House also. Uh, a little more expensive, $6.99, which is kind of funny because usually Folgers is way more expensive. But same deal. Uh, regular price for Maxwell House, though, is $7.79, so not near as much of a deal as Folgers, but still, a little bit goes a long way these days. Wanted to show something pretty awesome that I missed the other day. For one, let me say right away, Kroger's has a lot more spices in. Uh, we saw that this whole section was pretty close to empty. It was kind of looking scary there for for about a week or two but um they do have a lot of the kroger brand spices on sale buy two get one free so if these are some of the things that you get uh let's see how long does this last till tuesday so you got a couple days to get this deal um and that's a pretty good deal some of this stuff gets pretty expensive so to buy a couple extra to get one free will drive the price down for you in the future and that's how we have to look at it i know a lot of people can't afford to do bulk buying sometimes, but sometimes if it's something that you use a lot, it might be worth buying up one or two extra just to know that you have it in the future and that you're ultimately saving on it. I had a feeling right before the holiday that uh, the flour was going to be bought up and it would be really hard to get a lot of this stuff in, back in, but looks like they've got another complete load on it. And like I pointed out the other day, they have a lot of options here at this Kroger. Um, a lot of bread flour that we've had comments on. The King Arthur. They have much more variety than any store we've been to. And they have a lot of the Kroger uh, versions here too. The all-purpose, uh, the bleached, the unbleached, the whole wheat. I mean, there's just a lot of different options. Um, this is good to see. They got the gold medal bread flour that some people have commented on. Um, and a lot of different gold medal options good to see and i do have a feeling for at least a little while sugar is going to continue to go up so i would make sure that if you find a good sale on domino 
or you know any of the sugars that you use brown sugar anything i have a feeling that this stuff is going to be going up soon so i would get to the store buy up a couple make sure you have enough um, domino is one that we've been seeing less and less of and i know this is the one that a lot of people use so keep that in mind so i gotta say i never buy jello we never eat jello or anything but we got a comment the other day on it and i was just really curious like this seems like an awful lot for jello i remember the last time i bought jello i think they were probably like 50 cents a box maybe i do see they got some kroger versions here too for a dollar so those are 50 cents but oh it just seems really high uh they do have a sale on it but i mean yeah i'm not a big jello fan but we got a comment on it so i wanted to point it out okay so jess while i've been filming a lot of other things she's just been up to something so you want to tell everybody what you're doing i'm just getting ingredients to make pizza <laughs> <laughs> are we using the ragu or i, don't know. I guess i'll just use oh no this will be our first time making a homemade like pizza, homemade pizza so like, for like real together homemade. yeah like mixing everything yourself yeah so, i don't know <laughs> we'll see so how are we doing this just pepperoni and cheese yeah i don't know we're just gonna try it <laughs> we're gonna try it so yeah we're uh we're gonna take you along with us dude we're gonna take you through this process uh see how it turns out this will be a lot of fun yeah. we were gonna make this a surprise for later but jess ran into me and i was like we gotta show this stuff he can't hold anything in nope <laughs> nope we are open about everything so yes that is part of the video jess is excited I'm excited too. I'm excited. I hope it we need to start good. making everything from well, scratch. So I it would <laughs> we save a lot of money though. Better way. and be cheaper. Yeah. To make it, I mean, this, the dough, the sauce, and the pepperoni is less than five dollars. <laughs> we already. Have and how cheese. much would a pizza be from? So it's like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. You could probably get like a cheap pizza for five dollars, but I bet it's not going to taste as good as this. So I thought since we're going to do this thing, I should show some of the pizza sauces that they have. We're going to go with the Kroger's. Let us know down in the comments if you've made pizza and which one of these would be really good to try. I know the Rayos is probably really good, but that's $5.49 and we've never done this before, so I figure, you know, might as well go with a cheap option. They do have the La Rosa's pizza sauce, but I don't know. I want it to taste a little different than La Rosa's. <laughs> so we're going to go with the Kroger. We were going to do the Ragu, but, you know, what is that beeping noise? Came across this other digital deal here, the Betty Crocker, different uh, cakes and stuff, cake mixes, 77 cents a box. That's a pretty good deal. I also wanted to point out once again that all pop, all soda pop, four dollars for twelve, four packs for twelve dollars and eighty-eight cents. Um, final cost when you buy four, and that is all mix and match Pepsi, Coke, Seven Up products. It's a great sale, great deal. Okay, so we are back from Kroger. We are going to make an entire video on us making that pizza. We're gonna add that into tomorrow's video. So uh, we were starting to film that and we're like, you know, this is gonna be really long. So we're just gonna film all the video for the spaghetti or the pizza, our first time ever making a homemade pizza. So that will be fun. Uh, hopefully it's either gonna be really good or really bad. But I did pick up an ad from Kroger, and I just wanted to kind of go over some of the sales because I do really think that it's important that if we can get the deals before Tuesday night, some of the things I wanted to point out is the the hams, the spiral hams, uh, $0.87 cents a pound if you spend $25 or more. That deal is going on through Tuesday night. So if they have any left, that is definitely a deal worth buying. You can freeze it, save it for later. I mean, we're not going to see deals like this probably until next Christmas. So, you know, we'll have to keep that in mind. Also, uh, we got a lot of comments on the raspberries. The raspberries are $1.47 for six ounces. And just a couple random things. I'm not going to go over, over everything. We went over a lot of this stuff last Wednesday. But we did feel like it was really important to bring this to your guys' attention. Because I have a feeling, just going in there and looking at Kroger's, I have a feeling a lot more stuff's going to start going up. Maybe not much, but even a few pennies at, you know, it, it all adds up. Um, they do have the Sargento cheese, three for $10 this week. Um, and really just kind of pointing out some of the things that you guys have mentioned to me in this. Because uh, we uh, kind of got 
lost track of time there at Kroger, so I wanted to pick this up and go over a couple things. So yeah, we went over coffee, uh, ragu sauce. Uh, the ragu sauces are $1.49 on sale, part of the buy six or more, say 50 cents each off coupon, uh, which again, you can look online, you can get on the Kroger app, and it, it will show you in the app what all sales are with that this week. Also, the digital deal. So if I miss anything, you can check that out. And that's probably a lot easier and convenient. And that will link you to your particular store where you'll know a better idea of what those prices are. But guys, I'm not kidding. Um, I do have a feeling prices are going to be going up Wednesday when the new, you know, and we'll be going back to check out everything going on and, and some of that stuff. But I wanted to keep this, you know, I just wanted to go over some of this stuff because I, I do feel it's really important, you know, and uh, those pineapples too for 87 cents. I do believe I missed that on the deal last Wednesday when we were there. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. 87. Did I say 87 cents? Yeah, 87 cents for pretty decent sized pineapples at our Kroger. Now they do have the Butterball turkeys. Not a huge sale, but $1.39 a pound. They did have a ton of them at our Kroger, so that may be something to check out. Uh, they do. They didn't have any of the Kroger frozen turkeys, uh, the Kroger brand turkeys, but they're $0.69 cents a pound. Don't have to buy anything extra. $0.69 cents a pound. That's a pretty good deal. And they do have the private selection ham, uh, spiral ham, for $2.49 a pound. So that's a little more. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good comments on the private selection ham and everything, but there are a ton of deals on the buy six or more, say, $0.50 cents each. I know it's not much, you know, it's not as good as the buy five, save five, you know, the buy, buy five or more, save five. Those are hard to say, I'll tell you. But yeah, that was a better deal. Uh, soda too. Um, soda, pop, whichever you call it. Um, we're, you know, four for $12.88. That is a better deal than it was at Christmas. Uh, it was four for 13, like $13.99. So uh, it's kind of surprising that it's a little cheaper now. Maybe Coca-Cola's not selling as much as they were, forcing forcing their hand to lower the price a little bit. And, um, oh, another deal, uh, the Betty Crocker Favorites Cake Mix or Brownie Mix uh, with the digital coupon, $0.77 cents each. I may have pointed that out, but $0.77 cents each, that's a pretty good deal. And all the coffee, if you need coffee, I would recommend picking it up because they've, they've had a bunch of sales on coffee this week, which kind of... Kind of makes me think that they're going to be going up here next week. So might be time to buy up the coffee. Um, and, you know, I just I bring these out to you because I want you guys to be able to save money, save a few dollars where you can, because it's all going to start to add up here soon if it's not already. But guys, thank you so much for joining. Again, I know a bit of a tease for our pizza, homemade pizza. But like I said, we started filming that and it's like this is going to be a, a pretty decently long video. This is our first time putting together a homemade pizza together. I used to do, we used to do pizzas with my grandma and stuff, but that was, that was a long time ago and I'm sure I've forgotten everything since then. So anyway, that video will be out tomorrow. Also today is Easter for you guys. So happy Easter. Have a good time with your family. Um, thank you all so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.